Chapter 2405 delves into the delicate decision-making process within the Hunt family regarding their attendance at Serenity's wedding. The narrative exposes the complex dynamics of family relationships, deep-seated resentments, and the consequences of past actions. The Hunt family, led by old Mr. Hunt, grapples with the question of whether they should attend Serenity's grand wedding. The family members, harboring hopes of using the occasion to mend ties with Serenity and possibly gain benefits through their connection with the York family, find themselves at a crossroads. This chapter opens with Noah expressing his skepticism, emphasizing that Serenity doesn't need the Hunt family's support. The family's contemplation revolves around the idea that, despite the passage of time, Serenity's anger may not have dissipated entirely. Their desire to attend the wedding is driven by a mixture of familial reconciliation and opportunistic expectations. The family speculates on whether participating in the celebration could lead to a renewed connection with Serenity and perhaps some advantages under the guise of being relatives of the York family. The author sheds light on the family's internal struggles and varying expectations. The members hope that attending the wedding could be a step towards regaining some standing in the society and benefiting from their association with the affluent York family. The narrative subtly reveals the Hunt family's financial struggles and aspirations for a return to prosperity. Despite their collective desire to attend the wedding, the family awaits old Mr. Hunt's decision, acknowledging his role as a patriarch. Old Mr. Hunt, portrayed as a wise and contemplative figure, takes time to consider the family's history and the pain caused by their actions. He reflects on the past, expressing regret for pushing his children away during times of need and failing to provide adequate support. Old Mr. Hunt's decision is revealed with a sense of finality. Serenity didn't extend an invitation, and attending the wedding is not in their best interest. This decision highlights the lingering consequences of the family's past actions and the unrepaired wounds caused by their treatment of serenity and liberty. The chapter explores the theme of filial piety and the complexities of parent-child relationships. The author paints a poignant picture of old Mr. Hunt's remorse over the family's treatment of their own children, especially during times of hardship. The irony of the third son's daughter providing for the elderly couple after they pushed their own children away adds a layer of reflection on familial bonds and the consequences of neglect.